Hello, people. Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, wait. <coughs> oh, I forgot to turn that on. And I gotta edit that video. I need to edit this. Hold on. I'm gonna edit this, this photo on my gram and post it. And then I'll be back. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you guys didn't mind that little break. Um, but anyway, today I am fresh faced. I'm kidding. I am like deep clean of my face last night. I washed all the pores. I got everything out. I've been using the BioClarity. I've been using this BioClarity cleansing system for about a week now and I'm actually really seeing results. Like I had a stress pimple from school and it's already gone. Normally those take about a week to go away and it's really annoying. But this has really helped clear up my face. It's gotten rid of those spots at the top that never seem to go away. I actually really like how it feels on my skin. I do have a problem with how much it does dry out my skin, but it's fixed really easily with a simple moisturizer. But I've had people tell me I look really tired this last week. Thanks guys. Thanks. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be doing to rehab the face. So then it looks really nice and simple and cute for college. This is not going to be one of those take half an hour, beat your face, then go to class. because. We all know I don't I don't get up in the morning like I even have a sh it's even a struggle for me to get up at for my 10 o'clock class so me getting up at 8 o'clock this semester mm -mm. but I go to bed around the night I always get eight hours but so I'm gonna be showing you how I make sure that I don't look tired in class and how I wake up with this really quick really simple really easy makeup tutorial for you guys this will be like my first I think this is my first one back for, for 2017 and I didn't do one for a long time in 2016 so I'm really excited to do a makeup tutorial because I never get to do these things but I think they're really fun so this is my new setup it's basically my desk instead of like my wall of hats my wall of hats is still there it's still there you just can't see it but anyway I want to go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video if you do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys at the end Hey guys, okay, so before I do anything, I have to moisturize my face. I have to moisturize. If I don't moisturize, my face breaks out like there's no tomorrow. I definitely recommend moisturizing because it really helps when you're trying to not wear makeup because it keeps your skin looking really smooth and it feels really smooth when you moisturize underneath. I use this really simple Avita moisturizer that I got a few years ago and I still love it to this day. Then my lips. I have to use a lip balm because oftentimes I wear a matte lipstick. Sometimes they're adult proof. Then I use this pore mattifying stick from the Estee Edit. I quickly dash it underneath my eyes and on my T-zone and I just rub it in a little bit with the actual stick and it works perfectly. Foundation. Your girl just got some new Dior in. This is the new Dior foundation. I will link it down below for you guys. This one is really nice because it's matte instead of the other one which is a little bit oily. But I actually do like this one a little bit more. This is the first time I've used it fresh out of the box and I felt like a Dior model. But basically what I do, I use a little bit of it, probably three pumps, and I put it on the back of my hand. And it's perfect. It lasts me the entire day. I honestly think I had this on from 2 o'clock until midnight and my skin looked radiant all day you really can't do better with a with a foundation especially if you want this kind of matte then i put on my concealer so my concealer is from becca cosmetics i got it at sephora the other day and i actually put it on super weird i use the applicator then i use a separate brush and my fingers to blend it all in the becca one takes a minute to mattify and kind of blend in with the foundation but i really don't mind it then I very lightly contour with the Sephora foundation that's a little bit darker and I just buff it out with a brush and call it a day. Then I come back and do my blush. So my blush is from Essence Cosmetics and the brush is from Sephora out of a set of I think six. But what I lightly do is I just take the palette and I dust both sides of it of the brush that I'm using from Sephora. And I dust it on the tops of my cheekbones so then it brightens everything up and just adds a little bit of color. Now who doesn't love doing their eyes? 
Now, I have to have my brow game on point, considering how thick my brows are. So first things first, what I do is I lightly brush out my brows to give them a little bit more depth and definition so then they're not going every which way and the other, especially after I wake up. This is just a really quick and easy way to wake myself up and make my brows look just a little bit better. Then I comb them out on the other side of the brush. I have no idea where I got this brush, but I know that I use it all the time. Then I go over it with the Essence Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel. This kind of just darkens up my brows and it doesn't do anything to them per se, but it does darken them just the right amount that I need to make sure they have a little bit of definition to them. Then I take my eyebrow pencil, which is also from Essence Cosmetics, and I just lightly draw along the outsides so then it shapes everything up. Don't want your brows looking all wonky, do you? Speaking of eyes, I cannot go anywhere without using this Rimmel London Mascara. It is amazing. It's probably one of the best ones I've ever had. It does a great job of extending my eyelashes and making them look amazing. And I honestly cannot recommend a better one. The brush is just so big and round that it curls my lashes while extending them at the same time, which is something that a lot of brushes, no matter how big the brush, just cannot do. So I love this one. And plus, it's got an orange cover. How awesome is that? And last but not least, my lips. I use this ColourPop LAX color on my lips and it's so great. It's a matte lipstick, which is why I used the Palmer's Balm at the beginning, but it comes in handy and my lips look so nice and a little bit dark, but still nice. Now for this last step, pick your poison for a setting powder or spray. I like to use a bit of both. I use the, the Dior powder on my T-zone and on my cheekbones, but at the same time, I also use the super group setting spray on my entire face just to make everything super matte or just to give it a nice mattified look if I'm out and about. It's something that I can just pull out of my bag and shake and spray and it's great. And the Dior powder does the same thing, I just prefer it on my T-zone and cheekbones. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Honestly, it shouldn't take more than 10, maybe 15 minutes in the morning to do this and that's if you're going really slow and paying attention to a lot of things. So I think this is perfect for anybody on the go. So if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment and tell me which part you like the most or if you're going to be getting into products because they're all so amazing. And if you really like the video, you can subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos in your inbox on a weekly basis, twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I'll see you guys on Sunday for another vlog and I hope you guys like the video. Bye!